Problems at the Jackson County Courthouse downtown where Jackson County's presiding judge says the building is in such bad shape, keeping it open may be breaking the law. KMBC 9's William Joy has more tonight on why he says taxpayers should care. The longer it sits, the worse it gets. Five Jackson County courtrooms have looked like this since flooding in February. There was literally water falling from the uh, the lights and the, the speakers. Presiding Judge David Byrne. This wall had some water damage, had to be opened up. Says he's talked to county leaders for six months with no answers. They look exactly like they did six months ago, except they're dry now. But it's the time waiting every day that's causing the biggest issues. Of this bank of four public elevators, only one is working right now, and it's not exactly large. Judge Byrne says by his guess, the average wait time is 20 minutes. It makes it almost impossible to operate. Because of a need for replacements, it could be more than 18 months before two are fixed. It's frustrating not only for us as a court, but for anybody that comes into this building. Offices have a damp, musty smell. Byrne says there are still leaks, electrical issues, and restrooms that don't work. We all pay taxes that would go towards maintenance and repair. It's not happening. It's statute that county leaders maintain the building, but Byrne is still waiting to hear from them. This problem is not going away, and I just want a solution. I want some idea um, from the county that I'm not getting. William Joy, KMBC 9 News. County officials issued a statement saying one elevator should be working again Monday, but uh, Byrne says it's always broken. Also in the statement, County Executive Frank White will continue to pursue all options within his authority to ensure necessary repairs are completed as quickly as possible.